Have you ever wondered how to morph a chart in PowerPoint? Well, in this video, we'll find out how to do it. I'm going to pop a new blank slide in and have a nice title here, which I'm going to copy to the new slide. I have my chart here already, and I'm going to copy that, Control C, onto the next slide, but I'm not going to use the traditional paste with Control V. I'm going to go to the paste drop down menu. Paste special and I'm going to paste it as an SVG file. There it goes. I'm going to just drag it down the page a little bit. And you'll notice now that we have the graphics format tab open. So we don't have a chart anymore, we have a graphic. I'm going to ungroup. Got a message there, that's fine. It's an imported picture, not a group. So some some is some items are grouped, some aren't. I'm going to click yes to that. I have my selection pane open here because I want to see what is on the how it's made up, basically. So that allows me to see exactly what's going on. I might be able to ungroup again, I click ungroup again, and now I've got those as separate items. Now, the way this one has worked is because I have a bar that's much higher, that is coming as one freeform shape and the rest of them are coming in as another shape. But from the selection pane, I can see that they are not grouped. Next, I am going to insert a shape on top of the first bar. So I'm going to draw over that. Okay. I'm going to do it slightly narrower. There we go. Now, I don't want it that color. I want it to be gray. So I'm going to change the fill to be pale gray. Then it's easy for me to see which ones I've done and which one I haven't. And I'm going to remove the shape outline. I'm going to duplicate that. Put it on top of the next one and basically mask all of those bars. So now I can delete the shapes underneath. So it's not that green one. It is this one here. So I can delete that. And then I have all of those bars left underneath. So I can now duplicate this slide. So if I click, so that my cursor is over here on this slide, I can do Control and D to duplicate that. And then I can change these values. So let's say we have some rising some increasing in value, we have some maybe decreasing, and got an increase here, decrease here. Maybe this has gone down now, it's not quite as high as it was. And these couple here are also doing pretty well. What we might want to do is change the colour on the second slide so that it's a bit obvious that we've gone to a different slide and we've got a different data set. Go to shape format, click on that object, go to shape format and then change the color. I'm also going to change the color of the text go back to the home tab, change the color. And I'm also going to change that to 23. That's our latest figures. What I now need to do is apply the morph transition to the second slide. So if I go to transitions, click on morph. And that's then going to morph the items on the second slide. Let's click here and we will play this one. And then we have that lovely effect as they're morphing from one to another. So I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing your comments. Thanks very much. Bye.